Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps to Beauty. How are you guys? I have to pop out my chat here. Hold on. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Ooh, it's hot here today. Hi, Pam. <laughs> so I have a couple things to show before we get started. Now, next Wednesday, there'll be no show. I'll be in Maryland, um, but I will have a show on Sunday. So, um, definitely a show Sunday, but not next Wednesday. So, hi, Vicki. Hi, Kia. Hi, CP. So, I was at Michael's today, and I got a new um, app, a new one of these for myself for Maryland. So, if I get bored, I can uh, color. So I did get one of these books. It's new. This one's a new one. Hi, Colleen. <laughs> Everyone coming in? So this is one of the new uh, Zentangled uh, Zen Inspirations. This is the geometric um, designs. Hi, Terry. Hi, Shady. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> well, thanks, everyone coming in. You love seeing new coloring books? Yeah, this one's a new one. This one's called um, yep, Abstract and Geometric. I like this one because it's not too, like, you know, the spaces are big. So, although this one's kind of little. But I like the patterns. I do like the Zentangle. So, you want that? <laughs> Hi, Ella. Happy Fourth of July early. Yep. And the Canadians, I think they also have their uh, Canada Day. So, yeah, so this is a new... One of the new ones that came out. So, and I was looking for my, and I don't have it. Let me, uh, let me see if I could, maybe I could just write it on, on here. So, um, if you are on my show Sunday, you know that, um, I don't know if this will work. I can't find, I had my little Scraps to Beauty um Posted on something else, and now I don't seem to find it here. I don't know if I have a big enough paper. Um, anyway, so I've reached over 500 viewers on my followers on my Ustream channel. So thank you very much. Hi, Vicky L. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it's fi over 500. Um, so thank you guys for coming to see me. I mean, it's so much fun to see you guys, you know, to do the Ustream with all you guys. So, um, I do have a giveaway, and I'm going to I'm going to show you the prizes that I'm giving away. Um, but um, I'm going to give them away on Sunday because I wanted the Sunday people to have a chance, and I wanted to have you guys to have a chance. So if you go to my blog and leave a comment, um, I'll put you in the drawing, and then Sunday I'm going to um, pick the names from my blog. So and maybe Janny could put it in the. Um, chat for you guys so it's scraps to beauty it's so long I know I wish I would have never got it this long but it is what it is dot blogspot dot com so if you're watching the recording this is a live show um, for those of you who follow me on Ustream and on recordings if you go to my blog hi Aileen um, and go to Scraps to Beauty by Xandra, leave a comment there, and then on Sunday, at my um, Smash Up Sunday show, I am going to put all the comments in a little bucket and then pick the uh, pick it from there. Thanks, Jenny. Yep, Scraps to Beauty by Xandra. You missed it, Eileen. I was just showing the book. What did I do with the book? What did I just do with that book? Oh, here it is. This is one of the new um, coloring books. It, I got this in Michael's. Um, abstract and Geometric design, Designs. <laughs> I know how you guys love your coloring books. I have a fairy one, too, that I, I should have brought up. I don't know where it is. Um, but maybe I'll show that next time. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's a new one. I'm going to take that to Maryland with me. So, in case I want to like that one with all the hearts. <laughs> you like that one, right? It's cool, isn't it? I like it because it's nice and big. See how nice and big it is? So, yeah, it's a cool one. I like that one. <laughs> You're going to have, to have an alarm. An alarm for what, Debbie? So 
so the prizes of once you go on there and then let me show you what I'm gonna um, have for my prizes so one of them will be this did you see that one is coming out the ugly holiday sweaters really <laughs> no I didn't see that one where is that on so it's a, it's a new coloring book called the ugly holiday sweaters <laughs> hi Magana so this will be one of the prizes. This, this is Tim's um, cuddle book um, embossing folder with the coffee cups. So I have that one. Then my next one will be this one. I have two of these. So this is um, Donna Salazar's um, on Amazon. Oh, it's coming out in August. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I know they're coming out with so many nut coloring books now, aren't they? When I was in Barnes & Noble, they had like a whole table full of just coloring coloring books <laughs> so um so then this one's got all the, the little branches and the bird and the crown it's really cute I think it'd be really cute for cards so that's that and then um, I have one of these books to give away so this is with the sea life one I was showing this to them on Sunday so for those who missed it I love the manatee I have to copy the manatee for Gabby Gabby loves manatees so there's a jellyfish. Oh, there she is. She put it in the um, in Amazon's carrying the holiday sweaters coloring book. <laughs> Coming out in August. Why did she? I don't know why she stopped doing the videos. So there's the one I love with the peace sign, the manatee. <laughs> At Gabby, when she was in Florida, they actually went swimming with the manatees. So she loves them. So that's the other book. And then this one reminds me of Eileen because Eileen does beautiful um, fractals and digitally. Um, so if you guys haven't seen her fractals, you have, you have to go watch that. So, and this one's a really good one, too. I wish they would add two of these. I tried to look today when I was, um, I got this one at Hobby Lobby. And uh, they didn't have another one. Hi, Bunny. You love that one, too? Hopefully, this one has your name on it, Eileen. <laughs> I tried to look for another one, but it, I did get this one at Hobby Lobby. But they didn't have any more. Hi, Marilyn. <laughs> All right, so that's that. And then my last one to give away will be this one. I've had this one for a while, and I'm just never going to color it. So um, this will be the other one, the Enchanted um, Forest. I know this one's hard to find, they say, so they say, um, but it's a lot of coloring, too, on this one. So there's different houses. This one always reminds me of Colleen, um, Scrap Chick. She loves houses. And there's a squirrel in here. I have to get the squirrel for um, Carrie. Carrie loves squirrels. Hi, Marilyn. <laughs> Everyone loves that one? Oh, yeah, they don't like that it's two-sided. Yeah, there's the squirrel. I have to do that for, um, yes, because if you use markers or something, it'll bleed through. So you're better off just copying it. Yep. There are tons of leaves. Yeah, there are tons of leaves in here. <laughs> well, that one's cute. And the bunny. <laughs> so those are my prizes. And I just want to say, you know, I so appreciate you guys to come and, you know, and watch me create. So... Those will be the prizes. And again, I'll give them away on Sunday, this coming Sunday. I think that's the, what is that, the 5th, July 5th. And then no class next week. And then when I come back from Maryland, well, when I come back from Maryland on Sunday, um, I'm going to, I think that's the 9th or 10th, whatever day that is. I think it's a, well, maybe Sunday, it's a 12th. Let me see. Um... Sunday, Sundays. Yes, yeah, July 12th. So I'll be back from Maryland. So I'll share all my goodies and what we've done. Um, you have watched me. Thank you. Thank you, Vicki. Hi, Bridgeton. I just missed all the prizes. You'll have to go back and look. Look at the recording. Make sure you leave a comment on my blog. Um, so I will um, show you all the things that we did. And hopefully I'll have some pictures in my um, book to share with you guys. So, so that'll be fun. And then when I come back Wednesday, we'll um, start with the Prima, um, the Garden Fairy. I'm going to do another book. Not as big as this one, but um, we'll do another book with this. Oh, this way. 
So I think instead of doing the mini folio, I think we'll just make our own book. So we'll make our book and we'll do the, um, I think, Janie, doesn't scrap a dub do have the Prima Garden Fable collection? I think they do. So if you guys are interested in following along with me, that's what I'm going to be using um, when I come back. <laughs> So, so I did add um, a little heart. You can see I had a little heart, and then the ribbon that we dyed, I put that on there. And I did add this closure. So, and this hangs down actually, it comes down like this. So, isn't that cute? I got this. This is a recollections closure. Okay, thanks, Jenny. Um, and and then somebody had asked me about these butterflies. Uh, I don't know if they're here in the chat or not. So I did show it on Sunday, but I'll show it one more time. Um, so it's Vinabar's um, stamps, and I, I love her stamps, so I have to have them all. Let's see. So this is the one I used. It's this one and the and these. So and it's called Don't Forget to Fly. Don't Forget to Fly. So that's that. It's hers. These are the ones that came out in January. Um, this one is, is this one her new one? She has two new ones out. So let me see. These are her old ones. No, this is it. So this is her new one. So these are two new butterflies. This one, it says, if your dreams don't scare you, they are not big enough. So, and then it's the same thing on the little one. So those are her, her new ones. They are pretty, aren't they? And this is from CHJ. I love the little faces in the stained glass here. And then I think her other new one... It's never too late. This is her other new one. It's never too late. Let it go. Yep. So, so that's for whoever's looking for the butterflies. Those are the butterflies that are used on the front cover. And then what else did I have to show you? So we're going to do a couple pages in here. Not a lot. Um, and then on Sunday, um, I think I'm going to do something in my journal, so I'll have a page, another page in my journal. So we'll do something on my journal book for Sunday. Um, what else did I have to show you? I think that's it. So I thought before we would get started, I wanted to show you Prima's new um, new flowers. Now I love my flowers. So these are the Prima new, and it's going to be hard with the white to show, but these are the new resin um, flowers. I only got two. Um, and you see how big they are? Like, look at my thumb. I mean, they're really big. I was surprised how big they were. I mean, it's good for like a front cover or for a canvas. Um, they're really pretty. Let it go, let it go. Right, Marilyn? <laughs> oh, thank you, Terry. I'll have to show you the back. Um, I showed the back before. Um, so these were two. So they, they each have a different face. But I, I used to do faces. I was trying to look before on my blog to see if I had it, but I couldn't find it. So, And then here's the other one. So see, this one's got kind of like hair. I like these because they have the hair on there. So you could color them. Um, like this one is good for, I think, like for a moon face. I like this one for a witch's hat. What I used to do is I used to do the paper clay, and then I would put little hair and like a witch's hat and make a witch at them. Yeah, they're really big, aren't they? I'm surprised to see how big they are. So now here's my, let me show you my mold. And you can get these at um, Michael's. Oh, she put the link up there for anybody who's interested in the Garden Fable. Um, but these are the molds that I use, the ones with the little babies. They also have um, this one. This one here, this is the fairy mold. So the face is a little bit bigger. It's not much bigger, but a little bit. And um, so I'm going to show you. I did one just before. It's, it's still not quite wet, but I wanted to show you, like, the difference in the size. Let's see if you can see. See the difference in that size? That's the little baby head, and that's the doll head. <laughs> what time Sunday? I usually go on a half hour earlier than today. So it's 730 Eastern, half hour earlier than today. Yeah, they're really big. I was so surprised, but look how little. Like this actually is almost like the size of my thumb, which I like. I like better, you know. So, but they're pretty easy. So I'm gonna just show you in case um, you want to make your own because I do find these kind of big. But like I said, for a canvas or something like that, they'd be good. So that's those. 
And then, let's see. So what I did was I just took some of my paper clay, which is... Where's my paper clay? I usually get it at... Um, you can use any type of paper clay. You know the one I usually have. It's like in a little black, um, which I can't find right now. Um... It's like a little black package, paper clay. And then I just rolled out a little bit. I like to leave them in the mold just so they dry a little bit because they're so soft. The paper clay is so soft that when you try to get it out, like you can see I got my, like my fingernail a couple times in there. I mean, it's very easy to smooth out with water, but um, I like to at least try to get it to dry in there just a little bit. And then I just kind of try to pull it out. Let's see if I can get it to pop out here problem is I don't want to, there we go, I don't want to squish the face. Let's see how cute they are. They're really cute. <laughs> Everybody has a crust on Pedro. <laughs> so yeah, so if you let them dry in there, you know, then they're like easier to pull out so that you don't mark them up too much. Like I only have these sitting in here for like a half hour because I just did them before I um, came out. But see how cute they are. I like them nice and little. So, and then um, when I used to take the doll class, the girl who taught me was Colleen, and she said that for fairies, because I always like to do fairies, that the best paint that she uses in this one is called sea seashell pink. Elisa. Um, so that's what gives you kind of that fairy like skin tone color. It's like a pink. I know it's hard to see, but it's a very very light pink. You need those? What do you need? <laughs> oh, who's a Miss Enabler? Hi, Linda. <laughs> I missed it. What do you need? The little doll faces? They're so cute, aren't they? <laughs> oh, she puts the blindfolds on Bridgeton. <laughs> she tells her not to look. So, and then, so I just took a little paint, and then I just took some chalk, and then chalked it, um... Let me see if I can put it on some black for you. Um, I just put some chalk on the cheeks. So let's see if you could see it there. A little still washed out, kind of. You could see it, kind of. <laughs> she needs, Bridgeton needs everything. <laughs> still singing Delta Dawn. Oh, my gosh. Because that must be from Joyce's stream. I was kind of lost in that stream today. Oh my gosh, you know, Joyce, she just loves to uh, laugh. <laughs> and then what I usually do is I like to put a coat of, it's kind of like glossy accents, but it's not. It's a gloss glaze, and it's called Triple Thick. But I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they're really cute. I like them like this little. I think the ones from Primo are just a little bit too big. But, um... You, and what's nice about this, you put it on and it stays it's so thick. It's not like if I took glossy accents, it would just like spill all over. I think I can do this one. Let me see if I can get this one on here. Um, just a little bit. And I just kind of just rub it with my fingers just to get it on there nice and smooth. But it pretty much stays put is why I like it. Um, so I'll just show you. And it just gives it a nice little coating like. I could use a brush, probably what I should do, but I'm just going to use my finger for now. And then we'll look at it when by the end of the night and see. And you can find this in the paint section, you know. I just like to try to get all the bubbles out. There. And then I just move it from that area so it doesn't get stuck on the paper. Oh, I missed the spot here. So there it is. And so then when it dries, it'll be hard to see. I'll put I'll do a close up when we before tonight. Remind me to show you guys. But it's it's really cute. And then I usually take a really, really thin paintbrush, super thin. See how thin it's like for, I don't know if you can see it. It's really, really thin. 
and I'll make eyes for it or, you know, I'm not really good with eyes, but just little dots or whatever. But they're pretty easy to make, so just another alternative in case you would like to do the little flowers and the little babies, but don't want them as big because they are pretty big. <laughs> So I'm going to put these to the side to dry. And see, I do have my fingerprint on here a little bit, but it's so easy. The paper clay to smooth it, you just take a wet paintbrush and it just smooths. The clay smooths right out. <laughs> oh, this one looks, I pushed the lip up and now he looks like he's crying. <laughs> so I might use these in my nephew's uh, little book. So just smooth them out. And then what's nice about the paper clay is you could take a little sandpaper and then just sand it off. What's the name again of what? Of the paint? This? Triple Thick? It's Triple Thick. Here it goes. By Americana. Triple Thick. And it's a gloss glaze. You love using the paper clay? It is. I do too. It's so easy. Like that Sculpey clay. Oh my gosh. I can't. I can't handle that. It's too too hard on my hands. I just want to make sure here I have it all the way down to the bottom. You see it's so stiff that it doesn't even like it doesn't slide down like you have to actually push the um, the clay down. Not the clay, sorry, the glaze. So there we go. Hey Blissful! <laughs> How are you Jeannie? How's that house coming? All right, so we're going to just let those dry. So you can see how it starts to turn white. Like this is still kind of like gray. I don't know if you can tell. And this is white. It's hard with the camera, but it is hard. This is nice and hard now, and this is still kind of soft. And I keep putting my fingernail right in there. He looks so cute now, and that's the nice thing about this. You can move the lips, you know, to closer, bigger. So I leave that one like that. Yeah, she can get it, Mike's a triple thick. Mm-hmm. Triple thick, yeah. And you'll be yeah, you love the paper clay too? Yeah, I do too. You use it to work on a wheel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really, really, really nice. All right, so let me get this out of the way so I don't, I'll put these on here too, so I don't smush them. Then just remind me at the end, and then that should be nice and clear, and then we can take a look at it. All right, so I think that's it. So again, you can use any molds. This is the little baby mold, that one. I think that they're, they're not that expensive. I want to say maybe like $8.99 and use a 50 off coupon. So, and then this one's the fairy. I love that one. So, <laughs> the mermaid's still growing. Oh my gosh. And the snail, she's still playing with that. <laughs> that was Joyce. If you went to the, uh, this afternoon, Joyce who comes on, or I guess she comes on at one, right? And she's the frugal eclectic. And, um, Thanks, Jenny. Jenny has a link in there if you guys are interested in the paper clay. But Joyce, um, oh my gosh, I just love her laugh. That, and they're right. They should call her Giggles. What was it? Call her the Giggles um, Eclectic? I forget what they said, but oh my gosh. She had tears. I had tears rolling down my eyes last week, and she had tears rolling down her eyes this week. So, oh, I did have one more thing to show you guys. So, you know, I belong to the Magnolia... Um, club the doohickey um, dies so this was the new one that came out for the molds the molds in Canada are wow $15.99 wow that's a lot yeah here's I think they were only like I want to say like $8.99 so <laughs> Vicky <laughs> um, so this is the new one that they um, that they have out so this is volume number six and I love some of the things that they did in here. Like, I'd like to do some of these for the fall. So here's a cute little um, card for harvest. And they're cute with the burlap and that. And then they did the little pumpkin. So they just took a doily and just, um, you know, folded it in half and kept gluing it together. So that looks really cute, isn't it? You can't look. You can't look. Oh, no, Jeannie. <laughs> I love this. Look at this. It's like the um, dream catcher. Look how cute that is. 
So just a doily, not a, yeah, like a doily or um, a scallop, you know, circle. Isn't that cute? And then I just put a little girl on there and then just brand lace. I if you can hold it there. See the lace on there? The pumpkin, oh, it's cute, right? That's easy to make. And then they just put the feathers. I love the little dream catcher. So I'll have to do one of those for my nephew. So, and then they just took the, um, they show you how to do the um, lace and all that. It's cute. They have some really cute ideas in these books. And then this is, I think this is one of the new dies, is it, with the window? No, the window was in the last one. That's a cute little card there. A very really expensive. You know, watching the recording just isn't the same. It isn't, Jeannie, you're right. So, it's cute. So and now they started coming out, I think, with like exclusive rubber stamps, but um, I just stay with the dies. I like their little dies. These are cute cards, aren't they, with the little feathers? So those are cute. I like this one, too, for Thanksgiving. Wouldn't that be cute, that one? And then this one with the little lantern. So they have some really cute projects in here. So I like that. What else? This one also, too, has a little bird cage like And then, ah, oh, it's a new shadow stamp. I don't know what that means, but uh, I don't know. I don't really get their stamps too much. I have a few of their girls. But, um, and then they give you different techniques. That's a fall little gift bag. It's cute. <laughs> and then, what else? Oh, and the, I love the Halloween. Look at the Halloween. So that was the dies that we got. We had the, um pumpkin this is the pumpkin this is a spider some little wheat this is cute little mushrooms down in here so the dies it's really nice fence and then a little fruit basket to do like a picnic or picnic wagon or whatever so that was all my other little thing and then they did give us a cute little extra thing with the trees on there so that was my little goodie in the mail today Spider web. Oh, Linda loves Halloween, I know. <laughs> All right, so let me show you, show some of you who didn't see it last week. Let me zoom out here a little bit. Hi, Mickey. Let's see, I'm going to zoom out just a tad. Hopefully my camera, I taped it up again today, so hopefully it doesn't slide out. I think I have to move you guys this way. Now it doesn't want to move forward, so hold on, let me see if I can bring this just up a little. And over to this side. Okay, there we go. Might have to do one more. Nope. Why is this camera, I don't understand why this camera is just like so far out. Hold on, I'm going for a ride. <laughs> I don't think it slid. So, hold on. I have to move this over a little. Let's see what I'm doing. It's like it shouldn't really show all of that in the front there. Sorry. <laughs> all right. No, I can't get you to move. All right. There we go. Hi, Mitzi. <laughs> um. All right, so I did put the enclosure in here so that it opens up like that. I have to just be careful because this I got at um, Michael's. It's a Recollections um, closure. So this is what we did last Sunday. So I put paint on here and then I added some glossy accents to make it look shiny like it's wet. And then I did add one of my little babies in the, in the um, flower there. Then I finished adding all the rest of the flowers. <laughs> she loves spider webs. <laughs> no, she does. does she really? I know she likes Halloween. So there's me. Cute. So then I, we added that. Then I closed up all my pages. So now everyone's got like a little pocket. Let me just move some of this stuff out of the way. I don't know why I have to keep like reaching. There. So all of them now are closed except for, you know, they've got a little pocket in here now. 
So I thought today we'll go and add some um, add some paint and stuff on here. The baby, I put a little crown on my baby. Yeah, not horns, uh, bunny. <laughs> not horns, a little crown. <laughs> Linda does. Linda does like Halloween. Oh, you do love the high, you do love the spider webs. Well, that's good. <laughs> she, oh, she likes draw, drawing through one. Oh, I've never seen her do that. <laughs> I like them because I like the way they glisten, and I think they're they're just cool. Some of them. So I thought we would do some um, inking or something. We'll do something in these pages. Oh, and then I did get, um, I finished all my ATC cards, so I added these little butterflies. They had these at the dollar store. Aren't they cute? So, um, I, I wanted something on the front of my ATC card, so here's a horn for me, bunny. That bunny wants to always give me horns. <laughs> Hi, Packer Dolly. <laughs> So that's my ATC cards. I already took the other ones out, so I have them packed away. Um, so I'm going to have to fix this, though. I didn't glue the last page in. Because I want to do something with this page where either I put, like, tags or something that I get everybody to sign. So I don't know. So so let me show you guys the back. Who missed the back last week? So I'll take this out. And I have to glue this one back in. I don't know why this one doesn't want to stay. But this is, you know, the the little flip ups from the folio and then I added of course all these flowers <laughs> thanks Ella <laughs> Prima do you genie what anyone know anyone know Prima Prima what <laughs> so then I did color the tags I showed that last week which I was surprised like I said the Lindy's um, I did Dee Dee's um, slap and drag and so with the dilutions, when she did it on her mat, she got two or three pulls out of it. But with the Lindy's, I could only get one pull. Yes, the paper. Oh, this paper is from Prima. Yes, this paper is um, Epiphany. Mm -hmm. um, so I only could get one pull out. See how it got muddy? This was my second pull, and it's kind of like muddy. So with the Lindy's, you can only get one pull. And then there's another one of those butterflies from the dollar store. And then I put two tags in here. So see, these were much better when I just did the one. I just did the one. Is this Prima paper, Zandra? Didn't listen to it. Yes, it's Prima. It's the Epiphany line. I'm trying to see if I have the cover. Um, yeah, hold on. Do I have the cover here? Oh. It's this one, the Epiphany. Epiphany collection. This is from 2014, so it was last year's. You love their paper? I do too. Did you see on their blog? They posted some new things for summer. They had some new um, paper clips and some new resins. I almost laughed, um, Eileen, because I thought it was a flamingo, but it was a swan. Oh, I said the wrong word, the dirty word. <laughs> um, so then I just slid these back in here. It was a little swan, and I forget what other what other things the resins were. <laughs> you missed the yeah. I love the Prima paper. So when I get back, Jeannie, you didn't see. I'm going to use the fable. Eek! <laughs> she says. <laughs> when I get back, I'm going to use. I don't have the pad to show you. It's downstairs, but I'm going to use the new Prima um, paper. Um, the fable one that has a pretty houses. It's really pretty. It's got bird cases and all that stuff. Anyway, so then I don't know if you could see here. Here's another little head with the little angel wings in there. This is an old piece I got from like a, um, I think it's a flea market. But anyway, so then once I did this, what I did was I flipped this over. And so now I'm going to put my pictures on that side. You had to break up with Prima. Oh, no, Linda. Oh, it's hard to find in Canada? Yeah. And then I love doing the... I, I saw everybody doing these, and I was like, oh, I want to do these. So then um, I did two of them. So there's that one with the little Eiffel Tower. 
uh, yeah, someone told her, and they probably will now, Eileen, and what are you going to do then? And then I put the little beads on the dragonfly and the bee. And there's a cute little um, angel. I have to chop off her legs. <laughs> and then these flip out. So this way I'll be able to put a picture over here and put a whole picture here. <laughs> that Yeah, it was Ella. Yeah, it was Ella. <laughs> Who said to Carrie, we were on live with Prima. And Ella says, oh, you should make a... Because they were looking at the bird. You know, this bird here. See, this bird's Prima. And she had taken, I guess, I think colored pencils or something. She colored this bird. But then Ella, of course, she can't help herself. And so she says, oh, they should come out with flamingos. Oops, sorry, I mean. <laughs> and now they probably will because of Ella. And then here's another one of my um, girl faces. I did that one. <laughs> you want to come back as me, Miki? <laughs> And then I put the little hearts. And then these are tiny little clay hearts that I made. I don't know if you can see. See the butterfly there? They're tiny little clay. <laughs> and then this one flips open too. So I'll be able to put a picture there and there. And then I have two tags that come out of here. One comes out here. And then I sewed this. I sewed it. I was crazy. I even sewed these one little inch squares. Oh my gosh. And so then... See, they came much, much better when I did them the first time when I slapped and pulled it. So, thanks, thanks, guys. Yeah, I really, I really wanted to do this for a while. So, so when we do the book next uh, month, we'll put one of these in there um, because they were, they were so much fun to do. Oh, thanks, Eileen. Yep. So then, and then the bottom one here, you can see it. Is a pocket here and I cut this part put a piece of acetate so I could stick a photo in there so so it's kind of almost like two albums in one yeah and it's, it's hard to see the bird here but I did her um, with the crackle um, Tim's tattered rose I think it was called so it has really tiny fine crackles but it's hard to see and then I put some stickles where's happy Diana she's streaming tonight stickles as she sings them <laughs> so and then I put some um, gesso and stuff on the flower so but I love the back I have to re-glue this because so, it won't I don't know why this one for some reason it just will not stay thanks so isn't that cute so that's the back and then I still have all these pages to work on in the front so tonight I thought we would do, which page here, I thought we'd work on these next two pages. So this goes like this. So I figure we'll do some um, coloring with the, um, like the color like I did for the front cover with the Lindy's. So I'm going to use, I love this, I love this combination. So this one is Sweet Violet Purple Teal. Sweet Violet Purple Teal. And then this one is a bit of bubble. Bubbly. A bit of bubbly. The glaze I showed earlier is that you were telling me about today. Triple Thick. Um, mm, I don't think. I don't, I don't know. I'll have, I'll have to think about it. Um, and this one's called Red Hot Poker Orange. That one's really intense. I don't want to go too dark with that one today. And then this one's called Tibetan Love Teal. So we'll play with those today. So I want to make it more like a water um, effect on here. So I'm going to spray some on my mat. Oops, I missed the camera. Gosh, I don't know why. So far... And then maybe we'll put some white gesso and stuff. All right, hold on. Oh, and I got some of these. Did you see this pen? Dee Dee was talking about it. Dee Dee from um, Inkwell. If you watch her on Monday and Wednesdays, she was talking about this pen, and it does work really well. Where's my black paper? Hold on, we'll just my black paper. Hold on, black paper. Come on, there it is. 
So this is called um, Presto Fine Point. It's a jumbo correction pen. And the weight is really, really nice on this. Open it. So let me show you. Oops, too much. See how nice that writes? Look how nice and white that is. Welcome back, Vicki. <laughs> so it's really nice. It makes cute little dots. It's a really nice pen. And I got this from um, Amazon. Cute. So maybe we'll use that later. So I thought I'm going to put just a little whitewash of gesso on here. So I need my brush. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. The white pen. I have so much trouble with those signos. I don't know why. They just hardly ever work for me. So I'm going to put a little bit of gesso. And I have this in my little honey jar. Um, I don't know who, who decided on that. Was that Joyce who thought about it or Jean? I don't know which one. And then I'm going to just put some water on here. And I love these new um, Tim's New Distress Sprayer. It works really nice. All right. So I don't want, I don't want, I want to white out some of this, but I don't want, you know, to totally white it out. Just like tone it down a little. I should have used a bigger brush. But also the color will take better too when we go to put the color in here. I'll be putting mats on here as well. Yeah, it's a nice bright white, it is. So see, not a lot. I don't know if you can tell. See how bright that black is? And this one just kind of just tones it down a little bit. So I want to do that to both pages. Just a little bit more. I saw, um, I can't remember who it was, whether it was Jean or Joyce who um, put it in a bottle like this. It's just, you know, that when I put it in the, um, the one that I usually get is the Walmart one, and it always gets, like, clogged. Or you could do, like, um, Barb, Barb Owens. She takes some Vaseline around, and that stops the, the lid from getting stuck. But this has such a nice big hole. And it just, I don't know, it just seems to flow easy. And it's smaller for me. It's not that big, giant thing. So I could squeeze this a little bit better. So, yeah, it's easier to use for me. And again, i got to move up here a little bit. Sunset Carol was the one who said, oh, that's who it was. Thank you, Vicki. Sunset Carol was the one who did it. And then um, it works really good. Oh, she does hers right in a Dawn box. But for this little one, and it just squeezes so nice. Like it just, I can hold it in my hand just really nicely. So I like it a lot. And the other one just, it's just so hard for me. Like it's hard for me to squeeze it. It's hard for me to open it. And no, it's a regular, it's regular gesso. It's just, just regular. It's not a gel medium. It's, well, it's a gel medium, but I mean, it's just white gesso. It's this one here. It's this one here, acrylic gesso. But see how my top is? It's like all credited up. It gets this big blob in here. And it's just, for me to hold this, see, I barely can get my whole hand around it. Where this is just such, it's easier for me to do it in this. So, yeah, so it's just gesso, plain gesso. Yeah, they they were saying that that she does it in a Dawn, um, a Dawn um, bottle, but I happen to have this little empty one, so I just went ahead with that. 
just need just a tad more. So that's good. Good enough. So I have some white, some dark. Let me just get a wipe here. <laughs> just makes me want honey. It just makes you want honey every time you see it. <laughs> right. So now I have to put things on here that are going to lay pretty flat. So, again, see, I have to move up. It's like, I don't know why. Let's move this stuff up. Get this out of the way. So there, there you go. So this is just paper thin. So anything I put on here has got to be super thin. And you know I don't throw anything away. So I thought these would make really cute mats. So I might use this as a mat. And this will hold like my 4 by 6 photo. So I think I could put one there. I might do one. I'm only going to do the one because I don't know whether I'll have a lot of pictures this way or that way. So maybe we'll just do this one page here. Like that. And then I have mostly black stuff. What I want to do first, I wish I would have had some um, cellophane up here. Your gesso is thicker, but then you saw... You added water. To the, yeah, I add water to it to, to um, so it doesn't cover up the writing. It just tones down the black. So like you can see here, here it's kind of dark. Here it's dark where I didn't put it. it just makes it kind of more like charcoal. And everyone's different. Like I think Liquitex is kind of thick. And then um, what's the guy with the um, oh what's his name? The guy with the afro like he. Um, Oh, his is really runny. What's his name? Whoa, help me out there. The guy that paints, what's his name? Or he used to paint. I don't think he's living anymore. <laughs> oh, what is his name? So now what I'm going to do is I am going to, let's move this over to the side. Bob Patterson. Thank you, Vicki. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, the liquid, yeah, that one is thick, but then um, the um, Bob's, his is pretty runny. It's really runny, but this gesso that I have, the one from um, Walmart, I get this one, Bob Ross, that's it, <laughs> Bob Ross. Um, the, this one I get from Walmart, and it's, it's like in between. It's not real runny. It's not real thick. It's like perfect. <laughs> Jeez, Vicky. Um, I'm going to have to think about that's what Dee Dee says. You can't trust v Vicky on the first time. You're like my husband. My husband will say, Oh my gosh, such and such happened. And I'll go, Oh, really? He goes, Just kidding. <laughs> so I want to make sure I mix these up. And I don't want to use too much of this. So let's just start with this first, the light one. <laughs> because it reminds you of a dog, Dr. Patterson. So I'm going to use the lighter one here. So I'm going to spray some of that on there. And I'm going to spray some of this. This is the Tainted Love Teal. Use that gesso for white paint color also. Yeah, because it's nice and smooth. It is nice and smooth. <laughs> Patterson gesso, Linda. <laughs> I'm going to put some blue. Oh, I should have put my bottles. Let me put my bottles in my hands. Not my bottles in my hands. <laughs> I met my gloves in the bottle before I get going because this is going to stay in my hands. <laughs> Hi, Jelly. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me tonight. So remember, no class next Wednesday. I will have class this Sunday, though. <laughs> what's going on <laughs> all right and then we're going to put a little bit of this this is like a purple you can see the color is purple but it's got like a blue tint to it you never use that brand 
what's that, the Bob Ross brand or the uh, the Walmart brand? All right, and so here's a little of the purple. So now what I'm going to do is, see how bright it's like a purpley pink? So what I'm going to do is, I wish I had more like a um, saran wrap. I don't. What I'm going to do is I'm going to squish this on here. I'm going to add a little bit of water. That's cool. You thought you tried others. and You like using new mediums? Yeah. So I'm going to sprinkle this with a little bit of water. The Liquitex. Yeah, try that one. That one I like it. It's really kind of creamy. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to I want to get most of the color like on the outside because of my mats and stuff. So it kind of gives you more like a water um, color effect. It would be better with saran wrap, but this is all I have, so. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I like that. All right, so I'm going to just pick up that other. So see how cool that is? And then it's just kind of like a water, watercolor. So I'll bring it up close so you can see. See it there? <laughs> Doesn't get to get what? Discombobulated? <laughs> Who's discombobulated? <laughs> All right. So what we can put on here, let's see what we can put. So I'm thinking I'm going to add, I'm going to have one big picture here like this. And then I can add either ribbon on this side, and we're going to put just some flat flowers, I think. What I usually do, and I should have um, pulled out some seam binding, what I usually like to do instead of using a paper towel is wash it up with my seam binding. <laughs> what is this? What I thought I heard the lady say, I can't prove or disapprove. <laughs> oh, the color wheel. I saw part of her color wheeled one. Are, are the videos good? Eileen signed up for, I think, Pam Carriker. Carriker? I always say her name wrong. Um, classes. So, if you have a link, put it up there, Eileen. I, I tried to watch a little bit of it the other day. I really liked her journal. She used the color wheel and then she blotted off with some colors. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'll have to look at them later. If you have a link, maybe you could put it up there if you can. All right. So, this way. Oh, I think maybe I'll use this word create too. No, not just classes, just her DVD. Oh, okay. Her DVD. So this is a, um, a die cut from Heidi Swap. So I think I'm going to do that, create. And um, so maybe this will be something that I do, maybe my best thing that I like with the jelly plant. No, not the classes, yes. Oh, she has a DVD. <laughs> they had to laugh. I asked Eileen for a tweet for because she came out with some new stencils. And then they all, I guess a couple of them went and... Um, Bought some things that they didn't want to, but they did. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do that. So I think I'm going to put that there and there. And then I have these nice flat flowers. You don't need links to the projects. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't need links to the projects, but you do. Genie. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> she just jumped at when she said fireworks just started and she jumped out of her chair. <laughs> All right, so I don't know. Di I, Happy Diane said she might not stream because she hasn't been feeling good. So maybe she'll pop in later and let us know if she's streaming or not. So I just want to keep it pretty flat. Like I said, I can't really put too much on here. So if I'm going to do on this corner, I'm going to go on this side. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> she's kidding. Oh, there she did. She put up a link. So if you guys are interested in Pam Carriker. I think it is .com 2015 DVDs. I like her color wheel a lot. So I think I'm going to go with this. One of these. I like the darker black better. So since I really don't know what I'm going to like put yet on these, I'm only just going to put a few flowers. I'm going to bring these flat ones with me. Whatever flat thing that I have I'm going to bring. For the hellos. <laughs> Welcome, Jelly. So if you're new here, um, make sure you leave a comment on my blog. So I think I'm going to put this down just with um, maybe some photo corners. Let's see what do I have. Well, I can use a feather too because that's nice and flat. Does Pam have YouTube showing? I don't know. Um, I watched just like 15 or it was like a five or six minute little um, gathering thing. <laughs> oh, that's nice. She gets to see fireworks. We have fireworks starting in this summer I think after 4th of July they do it every Friday I don't know Sherry if Paul is on does anybody know she's on oh yes uh, no, I don't know I didn't see her tweet or anything um, so I don't know you have to check the tweet all right so I'm gonna put that down that looks pretty good and I don't want something you know too too much because like I said I can't put a lot on these pages and then I'm gonna wait to see what other pictures I have here so I'm going to glue this down. I'm actually going to just put tape on the back here. So if I want to put a pocket or something like that. Oh, Paula did say she was streaming tonight. So there you go. Yeah, thanks, Eileen. So I'm just going to put some tape on here and tape on the back. Yeah, and then I don't know if Happy Diane is... Um, I usually go and watch Paula after I finish. Um, thanks, thanks, Ella. No, she's not on yet. Nope. So I'm going to take this off. And then see, I'll have a pocket in here so that I can um, add, if I have something I want to add or say. I don't really journal too much on my, um, on my, on my books. Not yet. Okay. So. So I'm going to add this little feather on here in the bottom. And I'm going to add these little flowers. So I'm just going to keep it simple on the inside. So I'm going to stick that there. I need glue dots. Just use score tape. I don't. I don't see my glue dots. <laughs> you didn't. Don't know people's names. Just got notified. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome, Jelly. Yep, I'm on every Wednesday. I'm also on on Sundays. There's a lot of people on on Wednesdays. It's getting popular now. <laughs> It's an online store, CB, and they do um, shows on Wednesday, too. So I have 
that. I'm going to put a little tape here and tape like this. You buy their kits. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if you they you buy their monthly kit and then they show you different things. Um, not really sure what they how they work their their streams. I don't belong to them, so I don't know. Oh, thanks, Jelly. Thank you. Thank you. All right, yes, and I'm going to pick the winners next Sunday. So, yeah, if you want to be able to pick what you want, and if I pick your name, you need to, um, or you never heard of them, yeah, it's an online store. Um, all right, so I'm going to keep that pretty simple, and I'm just going to glue, I'm just going to glue the two letters here down. Um, so this way I could still stick my pocket in there. Hi, Dar! <laughs> There's Dar! Oh my gosh, Dar, can you believe it? We leave, like, um, in less than seven days. My gosh, I get to see Dar. <laughs> Dar's going to the Maryland too. I missed you, Dar. <laughs> Hi, Lilith. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to glue this down like that. So nice and simple, just, and that, you know, for me, that's hard. <laughs> so that's all it is. It's just that create, I might put some um, stickles or something like that on there. Oh, uh, you're not going. Oh no, Dar, why? Oh no, you're not going. Oh my gosh, I thought you were going. Oh, we'll miss you. All right, so then, like I said, I'm going to leave this page kind of blank. I really want to, let's do something like crazy on this page, because this one is already kind of like mixed media already. So um, I think maybe I need a stencil. So let's see what I can pull out here. <laughs> I do have stencils. Martha couldn't get it. Oh, so you didn't want to go by yourself? Oh. I did buy another one of these little stamps, so we might use that. Yes, Lilith did a beautiful pocket letter for Dee Dee today. But this morning, if you guys missed it, she made a beautiful pocket letter for uh, Dee Dee. Missing the keys. What happened? What keys? She had keys to go in there. So, I'm looking for my little stencils. Here they are. All right. So, now these are Heidi Swap stencils, and I used them the other day. And they're just really made from, like, I don't I want to say just, like, I don't really suggest them. I got them, I think they were, like, I don't know, five in a pack. But they're just, like, I thought they were harder, like, kind of like plastic, but they're not. They're, like, paper. So, really, you can use them, like, maybe once or twice, and then after that, you can't really use them. But I like this one with the roses, so I think we'll put some in there. So, let me see where my texture... We'll use some of this embossing paste. What's for dinner? It smells like tuna. <laughs> All right. So, let me just get a drink of water. So it's pretty flimsy. I don't really suggest it. I, I like them, but they're just, uh, we need a palette knife. There we go. So I'm going to take some of this in Boston. I usually use the Ranger one, but this is the one that I have right now. So that's what I'm going to use. And I think I'm just going to put some, like, in the corner. Because, again, I don't know where, you know, what kind of, um... So I just want to make sure these are nice and flat. I wish I had my other knife up here. I'm not, I don't really like this one too much. So I'm just going to put some on here. And then we'll color it. And this one, maybe we'll do the whole spray, I think. I 
So I don't mind that it's, I don't get the whole um, stencil. I, you know, I just want to get little bits and pieces here and there. They can't put too much texture in here. I'm just going to pull that off. I mean, it does, um, you know, come out nicely. But like I said, they're so paper thin that um, after a while, you won't be able to use them because you can't really wash them. Ah. So I'm going to put some in here on this side. That's a pretty stencil. All right, let me get my clip so I can clip these pages closed. Where did it go now? There it is. Let me get my clip. Oh, hold on. There we go. So I'm going to put texture paste on all. This is actually like a three pager. Ah! See, I just squished it. So it goes like that. So I'll put some more on this side. This one maybe I'll do kind of in the, the middle. go and then I'm, I'm gonna dry these and then move it over to the other side Miko <laughs> how are you you missed it earlier I showed my little prima dolls <laughs> my prima flower doll heads all right so I need the heat gun so heat gun Oh, that's good. Come on. All right, Mickey, thanks for coming. down. Oh, here, let me, let's check out our little babies. Oh, so I want to show you Miko. Oh, I dropped them. Where's my big flower babies? Look, uh, look Miko, you see how big these flowers are? They're like huge. Look at my finger. I love the ones with the hair like that. But I made my own tonight out of paper clay, and we did it. See how small they are compared to those? <laughs> What's the name of this Prima paper? This is um, Epiphany. It's from last year's collection. I wanted to see if I had the, um, like the cover page of it. Um, I don't see it. But it's called this. Can you see it here? It is this Epiphany. E P I P H A N Y. Epiphany. <laughs> All right. So now we can move on to the other side and put some on this side. Yeah, they're really big, aren't they? I mean, they'll be great for a canvas and stuff, but it'd be hard to put it on one of these pages. 
did you say she is doing a giveaway? Yes, I am, Jeannie. I'm doing a giveaway. Um, I showed the prizes in the beginning, um, but you can go on my blog. Make sure you leave a comment, and um, yep, and you'll have your chance. Sunday, I'm drawing the uh, winners, so if you're here, you'll get to pick what you want. I'll show the prizes again at the end if you if you would like. All right, so yes, on my blog, Scraps to Beauty by Zandra. I know it's long. What did I do with the paper? Here it is. So if you go there and leave a comment, you'll have a chance to win a, one of five prizes. So I don't want to cover up these butterflies too much. So I think... <laughs> I think I'm just going to do just towards the bottom here. I just want just a little bit on here. So there's that. <laughs> yes, so you have a chance to win. I'm just going to put just a little flower up on the top here. Heidi Swap, yeah, these are Heidi Swaps, but I don't recommend them. They are pretty, but then see? See how they are clogged up now? And I tried to run it under water, but it's like paper. So it's going to be very hard to try to clean these out. You're going to be able to use them, I think, maybe once or twice. And then after that, do like <laughs> you'll be able to do like Dee Dee does. She um, puts them on and then leaves them on. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably get one or two more good pulls out of here and then I'll just glue it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dora. <laughs> you love the um, prizes? Yeah, the prizes are cool. cool. Thanks, Dora. Well, I appreciate you guys coming to see me every week and watch the recording when you can. Oh, darn it. All right, so let's dry this one. And then we'll put some color on it. So heat gun. They work better with sprays, but they still don't get wet. I mean, they won't get clogged up, but they still get wet. Maybe we'll spray one too and then see. Oh, thanks, Sherry. This paper is just so pretty. I just love this paper. It's just so good for like mixed media. It's just like really pretty. I love the butterflies and the little birds. again like a fabric stiffener that's what it is like so let's see maybe we'll just spray it and see how it goes so I'll use this light this light peach like let's see how it goes you won't I might not be able to see it because it's so light Oh, yeah, you can see it. I know you guys probably can't see it. So maybe on this side I'll do it um, with the darker one, with this blue one. It's blue-purple. Right. So I'm trying to get it so you... Here, I'll do it on this side. It's easier for me to do it on this side. Maybe I can just pounce it on this one. Now this one's really dark. So let's see how it goes. I really want it to stay down. I 
Oh, you can see it there now. And I think I'm going to do is go across here and go with this purple. I should do a giveaway on your blog to build flowers. All right, so I'm going to do purple on this side. I'm going to do like a cross hatch. And then let's do on these where I have the, let me get, where's my water spritzer? You can, oh, links are open. Um, you can put your blog up there. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty. Now if I can just spread this on here. Oh, I closed it. So can you see that? It's hard because I have the three, like, I don't have much room on this desk. All right, hold on. No, don't spill. <laughs> go back. Okay, why don't you go back? <laughs> there we go. There. Another one. So let's get the heat gun. Yeah, to reread in what you typed. <laughs> oh, there it is. Her her blog is Miko with an S spot dot blogspot dot com. Heat gun. Like, behave like 51. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, thanks, Eileen. I love the um, the texture pace. I'm not good with that. These two colors, I just love those two colors together. So we'll do some on this side too again. It's still a little wet, but so let's spray this side. And so I think I'm going to put a little bit more of the, you can see the orange. I don't know if you could see it, but it's really shiny. Oops. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray a little bit more of this, a little bit more of the blue. Hi, Heidi. You just finished your own show. I didn't know you were on too tonight. God, I'm telling you, Wednesdays are getting really popular. <laughs> Welcome, Heidi. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of this orange, a deep orange. And then we're going to go with the water again. What do I do with the water? Spray bottle. Here we go. And I want to bring this down. So there, isn't that pretty? It's almost so pretty, then you don't want to cover it up. <laughs> so I'm going to go a little bit more with that blue in the corner here. And then maybe just in here. That blue. And a little bit of the purple. Are you on every Wednesday, Heidi? Let's go down here. I'm going to do a little bit of this peach. There. Isn't that pretty? All right, so I'm going to use the heat gun again. You don't do the same day or time. Oh, so Heidi, she has a, um, a Ustream show. You put it up if you'd like, Heidi. The links are open.
Oh, it's her Facebook name. So it's Heidi Stamp New York NYC. Oh, thanks, Bunny. This is really pretty. This one has a lot of shine. I know you guys can't see it, but um, it's really, really pretty. Super cute. <laughs> Are you welcome? I always like to share. Other people. Well, Heidi used to stream a long time ago, right? I didn't know you then, but now she's just getting back into it. I love the purple. It makes like a purple um, color. There we go. Sorry, so much noise. <laughs> so isn't that pretty? I love these colors together. And this was one of Lindy Gang's, um, one of their challenges. I can't remember which one it was where they did like, you know, the color combination. But let me show you this page really, really shines a lot. Oh, thank you, Jeannie. <laughs> It's really pretty. I can't wait to show it to you guys on Sunday when I have like pictures in it and it's got a little bit more stuff on it. So not this Sunday, but following Sunday. I'm just hoping that I get um I take a lot of pictures. But now this looks pretty all shiny up, doesn't it? So now once I stop using I might put this in the book because since it has the same colors, but it looks pretty now. So so let me see if I could show you the shine in that. There you go. Can you see it? Look how shiny that is. It's really nice and sparkly. That orange color is really, really shiny. So that looks really nice. I like the look of that. Oh, that's still not dry. And even this page, the this page here has some shine to it too. Let's see if I could show it. I always have a hard time. There you go. Can you see it there? Really shiny, really pretty. <laughs> Is she the Gotham City stamper? I don't know. Yeah, I love the colors. The Lindy Gang spray is really pretty. Yeah. Oh, she is. So she's the Gotham City stamper. I didn't know her then. The right side, Deco Outreach 2015, but I don't see. So she streams at all different times. She doesn't have a set time yet. So. All right. I think we should do another page like this. I love all the colors. And then this way I don't have to bring my sprays with me. I'll have them already just colored and then just ready to put photos or something like that. So. It's a great name. Gotham City Stamper. You like that? <laughs> Batman. All right, so let's do another page because I really like that. So, oh, we could do these two pages. So let me see if I have another stencil I can use that I have laying around here. Um, I probably can't get up and get my stencils. Darn. Well, I'm just gonna have to use the same one since I don't, I can't really get to my other ones. So let's do this page too while we're at it. So, so I know I'll probably put the page, probably this one, I'll probably put the photo like this. So let's try to get most of the, this side on here. So I'm going to go with that there. So where is the texture paste? There we go. You're trying to think of a gift to send in July. Who do you have to send a gift to? Did you ever finish your guitar, um, Miko? I see a lot of to car, to car, a guitar now. I can't even speak tonight. Um, I think I saw it just not too recently on Prima, somebody's blog. And I thought about you and I said, oh, I should show that to you. Oh, so even the, some of the color is going to come off on this texture piece. So that'll be cool. 
Now you can't really see because I don't have any room up here. Here we go. There we go. We'll do one up there and we'll do one down here. Now what? No, you didn't finish it? And let's do one up here. Let's see, I'm going to do... This one looks not too worn out. Oh, you stuck it on a canvas? Alright, so I'm going to go down with this one. I need more room. I don't have enough room. Alright, so let's... Alright, so we have that and that. I feel like I should put something on the bottom here too. Oops, so, let's do that. I don't want to put the same thing though. Let's do something different. I wish I could reach my other stencils, but I can't get there right now. There we go. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? <laughs> you stuck it on a canvas <clears throat> to try Finnebar style. <clears throat> I think next Sunday, because I'm going to have a lot of my stuff already packed up. Um, I, if you saw the letters um, in Michael's, they're like canvas. So I bought a letter Z. So I think on Sunday, um, what we'll do is we will decorate um, that Z. I'll... Um, prime it first with gesso and then we'll do that. I'm going to do it like Finnebar style. Okay, so we have to dry this. So hold on. Heat gun. This dries pretty, not as fast as the Ranger one. I really like the Ranger one. Okay. You didn't finish it? Look how it looked. Oh, we could white gesso over it and then start over again. She does have regular stencils and they work nicely with gesso. Who does? Finnebar? I love her style. Okay, so I think it's pretty well dry. So let's go again with the colors. So I really like this purple. This is the sweet violet purple teal. And I love this one, the Tibetan teal. I think we need a little bit more texture, maybe. Well, I guess we'll just get it on the edges. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to spray again with this orange. This is the uh, a bit of bubbly. Oh, Heidi Swap. Heidi Swap has nice. Um, I like her sprays too. All right, so I'm going in here with this orange, and then I'm going to go in with the blue. This one. This is sweet violet purple teal. So I love this. And I want to go. And then we'll go in with the blue.
And I'm going to put a little bit of this dark orange. You like Finnebar a lot? Me too. A little bit of that. All right, now we need our water. Oh, see, now I don't have any gesso on here. See what happens? They just stayed. It's not like this page. Darn it. So I should have put gesso first because now it just stayed. It didn't move like it did there. Your girl didn't remind me to put the gesso. Now what are we going to do with this? Just big blotches on here. <laughs> You're saying Heidi Slop had the regular stencils that they work with gesso. She has, yeah, plastic ones, but I don't like these. These paper ones, I don't like. Now, what do we do with this page? Look at it. I don't like those big circles. I mean, it is going to get covered up, but darn. We have to gesso first. Remind me. All right, so we'll have to gesso another page, and then we can do this again, because that, I don't like that at all. I'm going to have to go back in there with some gesso. Although when I put a photo on there, it might be all right. So like when I put my photo, see when I put my photo, it'll be all right. But, yeah, I don't like that. All right, let's dry it real quick. Oh, no, my chat, what happened? Two messages, what is that? Throw just on, on it now? Ooh, really? Throw some gesso on it now. <laughs> it will come through the spray again. All right. Should I water it down a little bit? Where is my gesso? There it is. It will come through, so should I water it down? I don't want to get that in there. I'm waiting to see. A little water or no water? Yes, cover it up. I know, cover it up, but should I put water on it? Should I thin down the gesso? I'm waiting to see. Yes, thin down the gesso. Okay, let's thin it down just a little bit. All right. Okay, I'm trusting you. Oh, I'm covering up my nice butterfly. <laughs> no! Who said no? No what? It's too late now. It's too late now. No! Who said no? No what? Now it's too late. I did it already. Now look. Now they're telling me no, I shouldn't do it. It's too late. Too late. We'll just have to go back over it with the spray. Oh, no on the water. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. That's the problem with the lag. <laughs> we'll just spray it again. What are we going to do? I'll spray it again. Like I don't really want to cover that up. Oh no, now you're gonna leave me? And she's telling me to cover it up now. She's gonna leave me go. <laughs> so we'll spray it again. I'll put a little bit more water on here. <laughs> it's looking good. <laughs> You're just telling me that now because we messed it up. <laughs> all right. So now it's all covered up. Let's pick this up. So I'll dry this and then we'll spray it again. <laughs> now it should move better. Oh, you're here. Okay, good. <laughs> I was going to say, you just told me and now you're going to leave me. <laughs> I mean, locked into two places. That's okay. <laughs> I understand. All right. 
Right, so there's the white gesso. Now we can spray again. So let me just dry this. No, it really looks good. <laughs> oh, okay, heat gun. It will be pretty again. <laughs> it's never messed up. <laughs> All right. Now we should be able to move it with the color again. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Use the same colors. <laughs> Go back in here with this purplish color. Back in here with this. Back with the blue. Let's see, now it just stays, which is nice, because now it should blend. And then I'm going to take that orange. Where is it? Oh, no, what happened to my little orange color? Well, let me mix this up. Yeah, gesso is the key. So oh, here is the orange. Oh, I like that. So let's just mix this up here. Oh, yeah, it's logging to the <laughs> tablet. All right, let's just mix this little purple up a little bit more. <laughs> Pink. There, that does look pretty now, doesn't it? I like that. Yes, it's pretty again. <laughs> Not bad. It's more mixed, uh, like mixed up or whatever, but it's still good. It looks good. Plus, I'll have the picture on there. So, all right, heat gun. <laughs> you love it? Okay, good. Okay, so it looks pretty. I love these colors. So let's do one more page before we go. So now I, when I turn this, I have this. Let me see if you can see. Doesn't that look pretty? Yummy. That looks yummy. And then when you turn this page, we have this. So that looks pretty. All right, so let's do these two pages. So let me see if I have it right. So this one. Because it happens to fold a certain way. So let me see if I get this one. I think this one goes this way. And that one goes like that. Yeah, this one goes like that. So in that, yeah. Okay. So when I open this and then we open that, I like that. That's Now you can see it's shiny, can't you? It's like really shiny. <laughs> Miko did great. Yes, she did. <laughs> So, all right, so we have that, and this is going to tag in like this, no, no, like that. So now we need to color. We're going to color these two pages. Gesso first. <laughs> Thanks, Miko. <laughs> all right, so gesso first. So let's put some gesso down. I like a little bit of water. Well, at least I'll have all my pages color, so that'll be nice. It was always pretty. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'll just so this one. Is 
that's the nice thing about these pages. You can like really put any color that, you know, whatever color you like. I think with all the jelly printing and stuff, all the pictures will look, show up really nice on this. back up the bird cages yeah that's the best part of this has like a lot of flourishes the bird cages okay he can We're going to just keep on going with this one because I just can't get to my other stencils. So, that'll be all right. Bossing and this. You wish I had some papers for your favorite style paper? What's your favorite style paper? All right, so let's put some of these on here. I really like the texture. I want to put a little bit more texture on these. I'm not wild about this. I wish I had like a credit card or something up here. I don't like this. It's too thick. I don't have another credit card or anything. got kicked out of the chat oh no oh no Heidi that's been happening a lot lately the chat's been splitting up and then people are getting kicked out and can't get back in I don't know what's up with that oh that's all right there we go we got that and then I'm going to put one big whole side on this side I think But see how messy it's getting? Like, this is going to be no good. I'm going to save this for a page to put it on a page. Okay. There she goes. Her channel. Ustream TV. Gotham City. Stamper. That's Heidi from New York. So if you look her up, Heidi Stamp NYC. Her Ustream channel is Gotham City Stamper. Heat gun. We're going to do this page and then I'll show the prizes one more time before we go. She doesn't stream at a regular time yet. She doesn't know yet. There we 
There we go. Oh, what'd you do? What'd you do tonight, Heidi? I missed it. I didn't know you were on. All right, so I'm going to just clean my little palette knife. I'm not wild about this one. This is the art one. If you ever see that one, I'm not crazy about that. You miss Ustream so much. It is. It is. It is fun. Yep. I was just telling them I, I've just reached over 500 followers. So if you leave a comment on my blog, you can um, win some prizes next Sunday. All right. So here we go. This is going to be our last two pages. And then I will come back. So I'm going to go back in with this because I love this color. These. So I'm just going to come in with this color first because I just love the shine on this. So come in with that. And I'm going to come in with the red, purplish violet. So let's see. I'm going to come in with the blue. Oh, now this pump doesn't want to work. Are you serious? That's the only thing with the Lindy. Sometimes the pumps don't work. And then again, that one too. All right. So here we go. Oh, I don't know why I can't get this blue. I love this blue one, and now I can't get it to work. Hold on. Maybe I need to stand it up. Ugh. There we go. All right. Oh, I like that. Can you see the shine in there? I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I think it's because I'm like face down. You used to stream all the time when you had, oh, you had the Stampin' Up! team and she had lots of classes in New York. Her dad passed away suddenly. Oh, and he threw everything, <gasps> threw everything away. Oh my gosh. So look how pretty that is. I want like this blue is just a little bright. I'm going to tilt this down just a little tad. I'm going to go back in, I think, a little bit more of this peach. So there we are. Let's just move it around a little. Oh, my paste wasn't quite dry yet. All right, that looks pretty. So let's dry that. <clears throat> Kika. some of the seam binding because I do have some um, rip some uh, what do you call it on my desk some spray on here so we'll wipe it up with this and I'll just move this out of the way and then I'll show you close up so what I do is just spray this and then I like to just pick up 
all the remainder that's on. There's not too much on here. Just a little bit of light blue. I don't know if you could see it. It's just a little bit. Okay. So here we are. So there you go. So you can see the shine there. You can see that shine a lot. See the blue? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. You love that page? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? I love these colors together. Oh my gosh. I can't say that enough. I just love it. Look at that. Can you see? There you go. Look at that blue. Oh, I think that blue would be great for like a mermaid, for ocean. Oh, so pretty. And then that one's got the orange. Kind of like an orangey tint. So now when I open up the book, so I still have something to do with the black pages. So, oh, and I still have this page to do. Let me just spray this real quick. I won't put any texture paste on it, but I have to at least finish this page. Oh, I almost sprayed this right in my face. <laughs> Oh, no, Jesso on this page, girls. No, Jesso. <laughs> Shoot. I'll have to just come back here and <laughs> I'll have to come back there and put some white Jesso on there. Let me just dry that. Let me just, uh, where is my seam binding? Oh no! Well, I'll put white gesso on it, but I want to at least get color on all the pages. So now it'll go like this. So when you open it up, we have that. So these two pages there. We have that. And you know, Prim yes, Prima does have a kit of the month. Yes, yes, they do. I love that. That's pretty. So then when you open up that, then we have all three of these pages. Let me move this out of the way now. You guys can see. So you can see up there. Oh, you know what I can do? Maybe on this page, I might just put this down. Maybe I'll cut this up and put this down. We'll see. <coughs> so then we have those, those three pages. I think this is my favorite, that one. That when you open up this, we have that. That looks pretty. Then we lift this one back up. I like them all, really. <laughs> that. And then we lift this one up. And then that's the last page. I haven't decided what I want to do with this yet, so I'm just going to leave it blank. But then they come out nice. Oh, my gosh. I love the colors. Love the colors. And that goes down like that. That's there. That there. This one down. And that one like that. So, oh, I never glued these flowers on there. So is it good? So next, not this Sunday, the following Sunday, I'll have pictures, I hope, in it to show, show you guys. Um, so where's my little, this always falls off, so I don't know how I'm going to get this to stay on. It goes the other way. So I can just close it up like this. And there we go. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. So, and then the back. I just remember to glue that. And then I still have, you can see, I loved all the rough edges. Even though it took a long time to do it, I do love that. So, you'll get to see it in person, Colleen. And then I want to put a spot in here for you guys to sign and stuff. So, any questions? I'll show you the little babies. It should be dry now. Little babies should be dry. See, I wish I could get this up closer so you could see. Can you see the little face now? How cute he looks? It's very hard. Let me see. No, oh, thanks, honey. So let me put it on autofocus so I could get you closer so you could get a good look at it. Okay, so now maybe, maybe it'll focus. There it is. Right there. Isn't it cute? <laughs> so now we have that. 
<laughs> See this one? I pushed his lip up a little bit and it looks like he's getting ready to cry. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Pam. Yep, special delivery kit. So now you can see the difference between these are Prima's new flowers with the big heads. I have that one, and I have this one. I think this one would make a great witch's hat. I put a witch hat on here. Oh, I think that would be cool. But now you can see how little that head is compared to that one. They're cute little babies. Aren't they cute? <laughs> So I'll have to fix I'm going to have to do those other ones up for my nephew. All right, so I'm going to show you the prizes again. What did I do with my, um, here it is. So remember to leave a comment Sunday night. I will, oh, let me take it off autofocus. Oh, thank you, Vicki. I really like the way the book came out. I like it a lot. I just love those Lindy Gang colors. They're so pretty together. Yeah, I made the little babies, Colleen. We made them earlier out of paper clay. So. Oh, thanks, Ella. So remember, no class next Wednesday. And then Sunday, you'll get your choice of... I'm going to pick the names out. There's This was the um, Enchanted Forest is one of the prizes. The Cuddlebug Folder, Tim's Cuddlebug Folder. The Spellbinders. Die. Tell them about the paint brushes. Which paint brushes? Prima's new paint brushes. This is the um, other book that you can get. Win the na uh, Nature Fractals. I'm hoping Eileen. I pick Eileen's name and she gets this one. Um, and then this one's the Sea Life. Sea Life Designs. Oh, the paint brushes in the book. These are chipboard, um, blue fern chipboard pieces. And so this is, um, I did it with paint, and then I put glossy accents to make it look like it's still wet, the paint. And then these are mirrors. I didn't take these off yet, so uh, let's see if I take one off. So that's Tim's little mirror, so you can see when you take it off, you can actually see the little mirror on there. <laughs> And then, see, here's one of my baby faces on here. And I put a little crown. Although Bunny wants me to put horns on it, I put a crown. <laughs> so, yeah, and there's my little flowers. And there's my little fairy. That's me. That's me, Heidi. <laughs> With my little dress, my little free, uh, fairy dress. <laughs> and I put a little charm on here. So, <laughs> thanks. Thanks. Well, have a good week. Have a happy 4th of July, a safe 4th of July. Um, I don't didn't see Happy Diane come on, so I'm not sure if she's on. Paul is on now if you need. Um, <laughs> you need 11. 11 what? <laughs> Thanks, Heidi. All right, so have a good 4th of July. Happy Canada Day for you guys. Um, thank you, Funny. Love you, too. <laughs> um, and again, thanks for always watching me. I'm just so... Um, thank you, honey. I'm just so... <laughs> blue horn chipboard. <laughs> I'm just um, so grateful that you guys come and watch me. We have a good time, um, you know, during the week and stuff. So, yep, this is Blue Fern. Blue Fern um, chipboard. Yep. Yes, Paula is on now, so... Um, to those of you who don't know Paula, she's the journal artista, so go over there. I'll be over there in a little bit. If you know her um, her link, you can put it up there, Miko. Um, so anybody, I know of Jelly, I don't know, I think she was new. A couple people were new, so. All right, thanks, a little. Thanks, Colleen. See you in a week. <laughs> All right, good night, everyone. Thanks. There you go, journal artista. She's on now. She's on usually now and on Saturdays, so. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Thanks, Eileen. Bye. <laughs>